So with the collapse of Primera Air, it just goes to show how ruthless the industry can be. Regardless of which sector an airline decides to go into, there's absolutely no doubt that they will face fierce competition from all angles. Now this competition can be attributed externally, so things like other airlines, the environment that they operate in and also fuel prices for example. Or issues can be internal, so things like cash flow, disputes or even the whole management structure which has been put into place. Now the key to surviving in this ruthless market is a balance and giving attention to both sides. If one side is affected, then it will surely have a negative effect on the other. So the fall of Primera Air is yet another example of this. And in this video, let's briefly go over a few airlines which are in trouble that could potentially follow the steps of Air Berlin and Primera Air. Now we know that Etihad is financially in a bad place at this moment in time, and they're looking very unstable for a major airline. Their future as an independent airline looks very unlikely, with Emirates looking to merge with them. And if this does happen, then this could prove to be the biggest breaking news in the century if it goes down. Now, a few weeks ago, VLM Airlines failed and ceased trading in Belgium. This was due to fierce competition and their biggest shareholders essentially pulling the plug because they weren't getting good returns on their investment. Now, I'm all for getting good returns on your investment, but I feel like the situation was mishandled at VLM, but that's a topic for another video. Now, we know what happened with Primera Air, unfortunately, but Iceland Air have announced that they can't repay their bonds on time, nor can they afford the interest on their loans. Now it's only been a year since Monarch failed, and if they don't get to the stage that they're able to pay their bonds, then we could see an airline with an awesome livery go into administration. Staying in the same region, WOW is struggling to maintain a stream to pay their finances, and this is partly due to the airline shareholders terminating their agreement, and Norwegian Air, despite their cutbacks, they're also looking very unstable. Now, Alitalia is on its knees and they're only marching forward due to the government loans and slight help from Etihad. And Jet Airways, which is another Etihad partner, is in deep water and they're also near broke. They're only surviving due to the help of Etihad, but it seems like they can't help anyone at the moment because they're also in a very bad situation themselves. And finally, a Swiss airline called Skyworks ceased trading in August due to a colossal amount of debt. Now Etihad, again, pulled the plug on the airline because at this time, they realized that they bit off more than they could chew with all of their partner airlines struggling. Now, even though small airlines are struggling, it seems like the large ones just keep on getting stronger and stronger. For example, groups like Lufthansa and IAG have an extraordinary capacity to recalibrate or force change at speed. For example, the expansion of Eurowings is remarkable, with Lufthansa having poured their resources into making it work. If you compare that to the flop of Transavia, which is Air France KLM's answer to Eurowings, well, you can see the difference. But it seems that even mid-sized airlines need to be on guard. Only carefully managed airlines can survive in a niche market space. The world major airlines seem to be doing fine because they're able to ride out the fluctuations. But this only represents the good times because, as nature goes, everything that must go up must go down. Now the Brexit agreement is also around the corner and many airlines are wondering what happens if there's no agreement and that prospect is looking even more likely. The worst possible scenario is that Brexit caused a massive airline economic storm. For example, restrict transatlantic flights, zero European airlines forced to refund millions that they don't have passengers who can't fly. Now nobody wants that, but if we go by what the news is saying, very little is being done about it. But one thing is for sure, that whatever conclusion comes from the Brexit deal, it will have a considerable effect on the aviation market. So guys, that's an overview of all of the airlines which potentially could go down. Now if you have any other airlines which you think should be added to the list, then share it with us in the comments below. Also share what you think about what you've heard. Do you think I was right or do you think I was wrong? I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. If you enjoyed the video guys, like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.